Hey, what's up everyone? It's boy Alter Tech back again with a new video. In today's video, you are in the spotlight with Alter Tech and we're going to put the spotlight on Mark Lavoie. So if you guys do not know who Mark Lavoie is, he was the head of the Google Pixels camera team. I say was because he recently left for reasons unknown. But let's get into this real quick. Number one, people, the Pixel 4 XL has two rare cameras. The one primary camera is the same camera from the Pixel 3, and the second camera is a two times telephoto lens. Now, let me break it down for you guys, take you guys way back to the keynote event of 2019 for the Pixel 4 series. We had the leaks, we saw what the phone was gonna look like, and we all wanted an ultra wide camera alongside the primary camera. So during the keynote, he talks about the ultra wide, how it's fun, it's nice, but he says it's not as good as the telephoto lens. And it's going to be just two times zoom. So you guys could just feel the disappointment. And why so? The Galaxy S10 debuted with an ultra wide camera system. And even the OnePlus 7 came out with an ultra wide camera system. So the market was hot for the ultra wide. But here is what I'm going to try and talk to you guys and tell you guys what I've learned about the telephoto lens, why I truly appreciate and understand what Mark was doing when he chose a telephoto lens over the ultra wide camera. So first things first people, you guys have seen my photos on Instagram and on Twitter and most of the photos I've posted online was me using the telephoto lens on the Google Pixel 4 XL. This camera lens, you guys, I've heard this hundreds of times. They say, hey, Alter Tech, AT, you do a great job at framing your photos. You know, anyone could take their smartphone and just point it at something that's pretty and hit the shutter button and, you know, snap it. But how you frame it and your phone being able to reach and capture what you see, it's a very powerful and underrated thing. Now, the ultra wide, sure, it is fun. I've had so much fun with it on the LG G6, on the LG G8, but for photography, the mission of the Google Pixel camera team, it's about the image quality. Now, how do I know this? I know this from using their products. You know, companies could sell you on a whole bunch of things telling you that, hey, you know, this phone could do this, it could do that, it has this, it has that. But once you get the phone, you start using it, you realize some of it is fluff. But with the Pixel camera, the whole marketing experience, it was a different direction. They really didn't, you know, too much exaggerate about the camera. They just simply presented it. The 4K 60 frames per second being, you know, skipped out on. A lot of creators were upset about that. And here's the thing about that, people. The Team Pixel released a statement. They said that they're focusing on 1080p. They want to master 1080p because a lot of people use 1080p. A lot of people don't have the ability to edit 4K videos on their laptop or whatnot. A lot of people don't have the storage on their phone. I mean, the storage on the Pixel 4 was starting at 64 gigabytes, which is kind of low, which is what I'm working with right now. So that is a con. But, you know, from the photography side of it, you know, this is perhaps one of the greatest camera systems I've used on a smartphone. Let me just show you guys some of the photos I've been able to take with this device. Now I'm working on a portfolio showcasing all the photos I've been able to take with my smartphones from the Galaxy S20, Pixel 4, OnePlus 7, OnePlus 7 Pro, LG G8, Nexus 6P. And the two phones that stands out in this portfolio when I'm looking at it on my desktop on the big monitor is the Pixel 4 XL and the Samsung Galaxy S20. Now in my opinion, those two are pretty much the best two phones I've used when it comes to taking photos. I'm not going to put one on top of the other. They both have their cons. They both have their pros but you know you guys know the s20 at i'd say it's very versatile now when it comes to photography the pixel 4 xl is hands down pretty much one of the best phones all right so what makes the telephoto lens so much special okay so you can actually use super high res zoom and take a nice photo post it on social media admire it on your phone but once you take that two times optical zoom and you view this photos on your large pc monitor you're going to notice the fine details. Slightly processed and whatnot with Google's magic, 
but for the most part it looks like it truly came out from a professional DSLR so for the Google Pixel team quality is their mission and people need to recognize that the average consumer needs to recognize that and this is why I feel like you know this could be my calling educating the average consumers about their smartphone cameras because I don't believe that they truly understand basically these photos I've showed you really just speak for themselves and if you guys don't believe me I'll have my website up soon and you guys can go ahead and click on it and see these photos and see what I'm exactly what I'm talking about for the OnePlus 7 Pro you guys know I was that OnePlus guy I was a big fan of OnePlus and I was really promoting their cameras but looking at the pixel photos right now side by side the pixel is on another level all right now my final message to mr lavoy hopefully i'm pronouncing his name correctly you know what i understand i understand your decision i really respect it now in my last video i had some comments and his name was tony pazzo he has a youtube channel be sure to check him out he did say that the iphone 11 executed the camera system well it had an ultra wide camera system in tandem with the primary sensor now for the kind of understood where he was coming from because imagine having a good nice you know portrait sized camera primary camera and then having a super ultra wide camera and being able to you know flip flop between both of them and being able to control the width I thought that was pretty cool so I decided to go ahead and pick up an iPhone 11 uh, shout out to T-Mobile for this deal you know I couldn't pass it up so like I said it has a primary and ultra wide so here's where things start to get a little iffy for nighttime photography and for landscape photography if you're trying to get that image at two times zoom the iPhone 11 uses digital two times zoom and it's not even close as good as the super high res zoom on the pixel now if you guys want to get creative and have some fun and use that ultra wide camera system you have the iPhone 11 obviously it's going to be better than the pixels photosphere or panorama I do have a complaint about the panorama mode. It's, it's very, very hard to use, uh, even if you're doing it correctly and you're very steady and whatnot. And if you have moving subjects, you're not going to really catch it in time. So that is a drawback. So it all comes back to what Mark said at the keynote event. The ultra wide is for fun, but the telephoto lens, that is the real deal when it comes to photography. Now, hopefully I helped change your perspective or give you guys a better idea as to why Google went with a telephoto lens opposed to an ultra wide camera system. It just comes down to photography and, you know, the picture quality, people. The picture quality, simply beautiful and magnificent on the Pixel 4 XL. This is Alter Tech signing out, people. Have a great and wonderful day. Peace.